Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to organize Vital Lacerdo's Escape Plan with art by Eno Tool and published by Eagle Griffin Games. Now, without further ado, let's take a look inside. Now, this is a fully sleeved copy of the game with no lid lift and includes all of the deluxified components. So right off the bat, we're going to have our rule book placed on the top here. And we'll have all of the different player boards here. So we put them this way, that way they stay nice and flat. We've got the five different colors of all the players. And on the back of one of these, the purple one, is going to be the solo mode stuff. So that all fits nicely on the top there. Underneath that, we're going to have the game board. Silica gel packet for freshness. And then you'll have a plastic divider that's going to be on top of here. So to lift it up, you'll use these sides here. And underneath, you'll notice that we have some raised sections here. On the plastic divider, there is a large portion that's kind of pushed up here. You're going to put that on top of these. So this is going to include your different money bag containers. So you'll have the little player screens, as well as a nice little artwork on the back here for the different player colors. And then you'll have the Kickstarter exclusive or bonus exclusive extra board here for all of your different contact cards. And underneath, you're going to see that we have lots of different wells that you're going to use to store your components. On this right side here, we're going to have our bag, which is going to contain all of our different police officers and SWAT teams, all your different colored meeples in there. And then we're going to have on the right side here all of the different components for the different player colors. So we've got our orange, purple, pink. You get the idea. And the last thing is one of those player components is going to be here in the middle. And then last, we're going to have a plastic bag that's going to contain all your gas cans, keys, and biker gangs. You simply dump these out and then put them where they belong on the board. You'll be using them every game, so it's easy to do that. On the left side here, let's go ahead and start in this bottom section. We've got all of these hexagonal tiles for all of your different map areas. So all of your starter tiles on the top here, and then your A's, your B's, your C's, and your D's. So those are all going to fit nicely in that middle section. On the bottom here, you're going to have all of your safe houses, basically your points of interest, really. And these are going to be summoned when, you know, the tiles tell you to. In this bottom section, we have a small Dollar Tree container. I really like this as opposed to just having the discs in there because you can simply open it up and put it on the board. And that way you can remove this from the play area when you're done. And these are just going to be your extra action markers in case you unlock those during the course of gameplay. On this bottom left section here, we're going to have all of your different tiles, particularly your rectangular ones. These are going to be things like the exit tiles for the different colors, your different lockers for your safe houses, as well as the different items that may be available for purchase based on the locations that you're going to. Those are all fit nicely in that bottom left section. In this upper section, you're going to have a well here that's going to contain the majority of your cards, including your police exit blocked cards your contact cards, ninjas and whatnot. And then you're gonna have underneath here, you're gonna have those handcuff cards, in case you get too many wounds there, your exit cards, just reminders as to how much it costs to leave, your escape plan cards, and then your special ability cards for your different characters, and then your special mission cards if you decide to play with that expansion. In this next well, you're going to have extra components for objective cards, another silica jet packet in here just to keep things nice and fresh, and then your solo mode components. On this left side here, you're going to have your score pad for the different players, reference cards, and on the back, more additional reference. And underneath those references, you're going to have all of your cash tokens. We simply put this in a cardboard box here. That way it's easy to bring out and take out. And those nice references are going to keep it so that the money is not going to be moving around. And that's everything inside the box. Let's go ahead and pack it up. So first off, we'll put the money in there with those references on the top and the score pad. The action markers, those point of interests, the different map tiles. All the cards, the solo mode, your bonus objectives and silica gel packet, 
your meeples, all the different player components with one of them placed into that middle section here. Your starting tokens. And then in the upper section here, you're gonna make sure that you put your board for your contact cards, your player boards, or sorry, your player screens. And then you'll cover it with that plastic divider. You'll then put our big board, a silicone chat packet in here for freshness, all of your player boards turned upside down, your rule book, and that is organizing escape plan. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. As usual, all things will be linked to in the description for any sleeves or things I used to organize for this game. Thank you so much for watching. Side Game Strong.